Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we're back at it. Now, uh, one thing I forgot here is when you're doing a search, for example, let's clear these items from here and let's try a search. So let's say I'm searching for Omo like this, right? The way I want it to work is that I don't need to click add. Um, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hmm. If there's only one item, we can make it in such a way that a little bit more intelligent, where if there's only one result, then it should probably add it to the list. But maybe that's, that might not be what you want. Now, the thing is, um, we want to incorporate barcode scanning here. So let's use barcodes to search as well. Now, I want the difference is that once we search using a barcode and there's only one single result, it should be added automatically here because it's, it's going to be a bit of a problem if you add your cursor in here and then you scan an item because the scanning process simply just scans the number like this the barcode and then the way the barcode scanner works is that if the scanning process was successful it's going to release a beep it's going to you will have an audible beep sound it goes like doo, doo, doo. I'm, I'm sure you've heard this before at the supermarket what that means is that the checksum was correct which means the number was scanned properly and then immediately it beeps it's going to send an enter key button okay so scanning a barcode right now i don't have a barcode scanner because i've shipped them all to my clients unfortunately uh, including the receipt printers and all that those things are quite expensive here so i can't just keep them around for a tutorial so um hope i was hoping that um i would still be making something for my client by the time i finish this but Unfortunately, I was done, so I had to deliver the goods. So, uh, no scanner, no printer at the moment. So what we'll do is this, um, we can mimic that same behavior of a barcode scanner by simply typing the number of the barcode and then pressing the enter key. So because that's exactly what the thing does, it just does it really fast. So a barcode scanner, the scanners I use have a USB cable. So you just connect the USB cable to your computer and it's plug and play. So a barcode scanner is just like a keyboard. The only thing is that it types numbers and then it presses the enter key at the end of it. So you can check for that behavior to know whether somebody is scanning an item or they are searching for an item, right? So in this case, if we are searching for a barcode, we we'll expect to hear the enter key at the end. So I want to put a, um, an event listener on this, and that event listener is going to be on a key press, okay? Now there are three uh, key related uh, events here. So I'm going to put this right in the, there's an on-click listener where, items right here search item right but i can add another one here as long as it's different to this one so here i can say on now there are several key key press event there's a key press there's a key up there's a key down actually there are just three so you can test these by um letting it show you what's happening so for example let's do on Anyway, let me just explain them. We waste time if we just start testing them. I already know what they do. So there's the, wait, key down is just like it says. So when you press and hold the key, then it fires once, okay? When the key hit, the key hit the, reached the bottom. So that's a key down event. So if you press and hold a key, it just fires once or does it i have no idea i think it repeats maybe but it happens when you press down and then the key up is when you release the key that's when it fires and then the key press is when you start by pushing down the key and then you release the key 
So if the key was already held down and you release it, the key press won't fire. Uh, it will only fire when you do both, when you press and release. Okay, so the one that we really want is the key up. Now, the reason we can't use the key down is because it's delayed. Because, I think about it, the key down event happens before the key, it's the event that happens first before the key is even registered in your computer. So let's try this. You see key down and I'm just going to tell it to echo out. So I'll say console.log right here because remember, this is uh, anything we put here is JavaScript. So I want to log something. I want to log this very item and I can refer to this very item as this conveniently. So say this dot value. So the value of this item will be logged in the console on the key down event. So let's refresh and let me go back to inspect the element in the console. And then right here, I will press a button. Boom. And so that's what happens. Uh, wait. So you see, it's an empty string, even though I've typed something there. But if I press another key, Look what happens. It shows me the R. That was the first one. And yet we have two items here. This RT. Okay. So you see that it's it has a delayed effect. There's Y there, but it's just showing me RTY. So not very cool. So it fires before the key is even registered. So the one we want is the key up event like so. So for as long as the key is released, uh, let's do something about it. So I'm going to press a number six there and you see it gives me everything there because the value of the item is registered on the key down. By the time I release the key, it already has the value that I want. So key up is the winner. So here what we will do is I want us to run the same search item function right there just on the key up as well. Uh, okay, wait a second, wait a second. Okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. So what I'm really looking for on the key up event is, okay, maybe, mm -hmm, what do I do? Okay, let's see. No, let's run a different function here. Let's say check, I, I want to describe the function. Check for enter key. So that's check for enter key. So copy, we need the event, of course. So let me go down here and I'm going to say, um, let's go down here, even further, even further. Function check for enter key, but for ease of typing, let's change that to key. Okay, so how do we know what key we are dealing with? Well, the enter key, we can do this. We can say console.log, that way we check, and then we say e dot key code, like that. So how did I know there is key code there? Well, I did a console.log of e by itself, and then checked around to see what response that E had. And it turns out one of them had a key code which had exactly what I had pressed. So that's how I found that out. So you can do the same testing that we've been doing here. So I just want to know when I press enter, what it writes. So here I'm just going to press H and that's number 72. And if I press P, that's 80. But what if I press enter? It's 13. So that's what I'm looking for. So I'm looking for key code is equal to 13. So I'm just going to say if the key code. Okay. If key code is equal to 13, then let's do something special. That is the enter key. So enter key means we have um, uh, barcode. So we're just going to put a very a large word like barcode is equal to true, like this. Okay, great. So barcode is equal to true. Then let's set this barcode equal to false 
right at the very top here uh -huh. i'm going to say var barcode is equal to false that way we know that uh, this is an actual barcode here we'll pretend it's a barcode and the reason we're doing this because I want when the barcode item is not found, we can actually explicitly put a uh, an alert here that says item not found in um, item was not found or something like that. We don't want to do that on the search. Okay, actually, uh, yeah, it's not even doing anything really. Okay, so good. Uh, so far, so good. We know when the barcode is has been issued, and then once we search, um, it should know what to do with the result. Now, one more thing we should do is in the AJAX here, where we're saying where description, like find, we should do this, copy this, and then put an OR, which is double pipes there, or barcode. Okay, now instead of barcode being like, we say barcode is equal to find, like this. So this will make sure that we are searching either for the description or the barcode. Great, that does it there. And let's see now how we can utilize this barcode is equal to true and barcode is equal to false. When the result comes back, Okay, so I'll see you in the next video.